Hey, this is Michael Bunker. Today in this episode, we're going to make a uh, pot of mesquite bean coffee. So come on along and see how we do stuff. Okay, so how did the uh, idea of mesquite coffee get started? Well, around 2006, uh, I had found a um, an almanac, a Texas almanac. I don't even remember where I found it. And this was before social media or any of that kind of stuff. And uh, we had moved out here to the land in 2005, and I didn't know what to do with all these mesquite pods. We, we had a lot of mesquite pods. And so I was reading through this almanac, and it said that at some time, I think it was the Civil War, um, when they couldn't get coffee, the colonists here in Texas had, uh, had made mesquite coffee. And so I thought, you know, I've tried a lot of, uh, artificial coffees. I've tried carob powder. I've tried, uh, you name it. Um, if it's out there and it's supposed to be, a, you know, the, uh, dandelion roots or whatever, I've tried it. Not, the, the problem with it is not, none of it tastes like coffee. And so, uh, we went out and picked some pods. We dried them for a week or two and then snapped them and roasted them and made coffee. And I was just, I was blown away that it actually tasted like coffee. Now it said in the almanac that it had uh, caffeine, which was fine with me. But uh, since then there's been some tests done. And although it does have a caffeine like effect, not in the jitteriness or the uh, souring of the stomach, but it does have an uplifting uh, energetic kind of effect uh, because of the sh uh, the beneficial sugars that are in it. There is no caffeine in it. Anyways, we're making uh, mesquite pod coffee in this episode, so let's get right to it. It's a hot July day and I'm going to make uh, some mesquite coffee and or prepare some mesquite coffee. So um, this is going to be a little different than how we actually do it. If you order some coffee from us because we will we'll actually roast it in the oven and we've got a hammer mill that will make it more like the consistency of, of espresso. But what I'm going to do is this whole batch, I'm going to make it um, by hand, totally off grid. So we've got our <coughs> harvested mesquite pods and you'll notice if I can find it here, I just... Um, there are beans <clears throat> inside of the pods, but we're going to be using the whole pods. And so, uh, the whole pods have, uh, very beneficial sugars and attributes to them. So we're not going to be separating the beans from the pods. We're just going to snap them and use the whole pods. And, uh, then we're going to roast them in the solar oven, which normally we would roast them in the regular oven. So I'm snapping them to, uh, the length of about an inch, maybe. To an inch and a half doesn't really matter as long as they're not too long and uh, the the kind that we actually sell we put it in a hammer mill so all of this gets ground up to a real fine espresso texture
All right, so we got our uh, hodge roasted up here. We like ours uh, pretty dark. Uh, you remember the uh, hods are, have a lot of beneficial sugars, so it's really just a caramelized uh, uh, roasting of them. And then um, normally what we would do is we would take these and we would run them through our hammer mill and you would end up with a very uh, espresso-like uh, thin that makes a very uh, viscous, um, thick, uh, wonderful coffee. I'm going to do these by hand uh, because that's the way this would have been done back during the time of the Civil War and after that. And then uh, we're going to make a little pot, uh, pot of coffee. We got an old ramekin here that we've had for a lot of years. Mocajete. Mocajete, not a ramekin. Thank you, Danielle. <laughs> it's a mocajete, and um, this is a ramekin. Anyways, uh, normally these would get ground very, very fine, but um, really doesn't matter that much as far as uh, if you're making a, a, a coffee that you're going to, we're going to use a French press. Since all any big chunks are going to get removed anyway, I'm not going to spend a lot of time grinding this ultra fine. And you'll notice that the beans, the beans are very, very hard and uh, they're thin and they don't break real easily and they may not break at all here in the mocajete so we're just going to uh, remember the whole pot is being used so i'm just going to grind this up if all the beans stay whole that's fine you're still going to get a great coffee out of it There's our first little bunch. Really, really coffee uh, looking. It's got a wonderful smell. You're really, really gonna like the smell of this stuff. cup of uh, mesquite coffee of the year. It's a little hot. It's been about 94 degrees right now, but I, I like mesquite coffee anytime. Oh yeah. Very, very good. And one thing that we would do too, if we didn't drink it all, like right now, because it's hot, I'm not going to drink a whole bunch of coffee. Uh, we would let it cool off and then make uh, mesquite iced tea out of it. Just water it down more. You really don't need to add much sugar or any sugar at all because it's got its own natural sweetness. It tastes like coffee, smells like coffee, actually has a little bit of a cinnamony kind of uh, flavor or taste to it. That'll pass. That's good stuff. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. I uh, appreciate you guys tuning into this episode. If you're interested in buying some of our mesquite coffee, it's available for a very, very short amount of time, maybe one month a year because we sell out every single year. And every year we don't uh, have a crop. Some, some years there's no mesquite pods. So I'm going to put a link down in the description. There's links to ways to get a hold of me. You can get a hold of me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash off grid. You can get a hold of me at my website, michaelbunker.com. And there's also going to be a link in the description to just go to my store and buy some of the coffee for a very, very limited amount of time. Don't know when you're watching this. It could be a year or two from now. But every year sometime between July and October, because uh, we never know. This has been an early year. We never know when it's going to be available. When it is available, you can check out that site and we'll ship you some coffee uh, if you're interested. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you do subscribe. That's very, very important. Like the video if you like it and I appreciate you guys and I'll see you soon.